We end the show with some breaking news. This just in, Donald Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, has accepted two debates against Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, one on September 18th on CNN and another on October 1st on CBS. We should note that Governor Walz has agreed to the October 1st debate so far. So we shall see what happens, but at least we got one on the books. Willie, your thoughts? Uh, I think the consensus at the table is we're good with one. Yeah, I think no, for, in the vice presidential <laughs> debate seems like seems like plenty. Yeah. Um, John, final thoughts here. Aaron Judge, 300th career home run, faster than any player in the history of baseball. I know you want to expand <laughs> on that a little bit. And also, Donald Trump had that rally yesterday. We played big portions of it today. Again, holding a news conference at Bedminster today. He's going to be out doing what uh. he does and saying crazy stuff. I'm going to refrain from commenting <laughs> on Aaron Judge sure. um, here at the end of the show. But uh, yes, first of all, it's good that we are having a debate. The debate is good. One, we don't need two. Um, but the <laughs> Reverend Al, we are going to hear from former president again today, as we've been talking about all morning long, a real sense of frustration and, and flailing from his campaign, who simply, they simply have not adjusted to Vice President Harris being atop the ticket. He went out there, took matters in his own hands last week at Mar-a-Lago. Didn't go so well. He takes another try today at Bedminster. Well, some think he's going to announce that some of the campaign staff is gone. He's replacing them. The only thing he can do to help himself in this race is replace the candidate, him. Mm -hmm. That seems unlikely. And most of all, this morning, it was nice to reunite the Reverend Al Sharpton. Yes. With the director, Lee Daniels. Yep. Together again. Very cool. We need deliverance. <laughs> we need deliverance. <laughs> all right, Rev. Thanks, everybody. We will see you right back here tomorrow morning. That does it for us today.